certainly appreciate this great turnout for this event. I know we have uh, several of our staff here, several of our university folks. Um, many of our coaches are here, head coaches included. I just appreciate uh, this level of support by everybody. So good afternoon and uh, welcome. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a really great day and it's a day that we've anticipated for a long time. We're really fortunate to come together for this groundbreaking for our South Side renovation project today. And um, the fact that we're standing here today is a tribute to uh, a lot of different people and to a long process that has taken us to this point. It almost really started the day I was announced as athletics director when uh, people asked, you know, what was your vision and what were your plans for our somewhat outdated press box? That was one of the first questions I received. And at that point, I realized, wow, that really has a lot of attention. And people are really looking at that. And it took me a while to get my feet on the ground. But when I did, I realized that it was pretty, pretty important for us to take a look at our press box, but not just as a press box, as, as a sign of our ongoing improvement as an athletics department, as a sign of our move to a new um, to the new American Athletics Conference. We needed to do some things that made a statement, but we needed to do them with a purpose. We needed to do them in a way that would uh, add some things uh, to the fan experience as well as the student athlete experience. And as we got together, we said, what is the scope of this? What can we actually do? What are the things that we need to incorporate in this project? And it was in... Uh, the May of 2015, we sent out our first fan survey, assessing what people would like to see, what they would like to have in a premium tower. What, what are the things that would attract them? Well, we quickly learned that there was a strong appetite for suites, club level, loges, and we had to educate what loges were to people, but once they found out, they liked them quite a bit. And there was also a strong appetite to help the student athlete experience and what were some of the things that we could do in order to facilitate that. And certainly the biggest thing we could do is improve our sports medicine area for our student athletes that hadn't been touched in nearly 30 years. And also our locker room for our football program and some other amenities that would really help our entire football program. And so we looked at that and as we began to look at the information we received, we realized that we needed to see what others were doing. Some in our own conference. We took a tour. We went to Cincinnati, Kansas State, Baylor, TCU, and Houston. And we saw what those programs were doing with their premium seat areas and their amenities for their student athletes. And we learned a lot and we learned some things that we would like to incorporate. We then formulated a plan and worked closely with our internal staff and I got to call out Rick Nicewander for his partnership and how he helped us understand the financial implications of what we were going to do and how we could finance this project. And then in February of 2016, the Pirate Club Executive Board called a special meeting and, and approved the option for us to move forward with the fundraising. And boy, did we move forward. In March of that year, we had the Dowdy Ficklin Stadium Southside Project kickoff event. It was a grand event and really set the tone for our fundraising for the next several months. In the meantime, we were working with our architectural partners and our design team to price the project and make sure we had a viable option to do a comprehensive project. Then in November of 2016, at the November board meeting, the Board of Trustees unanimously approved the Dowdy Ficklin Stadium Southside renovation project. And as of today, we have raised over $30 million in funding with over $15 million philanthropically, including the largest single gift in our athletic history and several seven-figure gifts and many other high-level leadership gifts. So if you could take a moment, there are many people here today that have contributed to this project. And let's give a round of applause to every one of those donors who has helped with that. It's incredible. 
I've never been a part of a project that we've been able to raise so much money so, so quickly in order to get this project done. So when we first started thinking about this project, we, we started thinking about the timeline. And if you take a second, just turn around and you can see the timeline in action. Uh, we, we didn't ask them to stop work. We asked them to keep going uh, while we're here today because it's what you don't see that matters. And what you don't see is that old press box. And what you don't see are some of the, the things that we're trying to do over in um, the, the Ward Sports Medicine Building where all of the demolition is complete in that facility on the first floor. And we get ready to build what's coming next. So I was very fortunate to have great leadership along the way to help in this regard. We, we wouldn't be here without it. And I was very, very, uh, very, very fortunate to work with Jay Batt, who got this project off the ground for us very quickly. I appreciate him. I appreciate the leadership we had from our former chancellor, Steve Ballard, our former chair of the board of trustees, Steve Jones, who's with us today. Thank you, Steve, for that. I saw you here somewhere. Where are you? Steve, thank you for that. And certainly our current chair, Karen Shanahan, the rest of the board, the Board of Governors, who has given us uh, a lot of guidance along the way and has worked with us to increase our funding capacity. This project started at a nine-month project. It's now at a 16 to 18-month project. Those are the kinds of things that you don't anticipate, but you have to have the help and the leadership to do that. Uh, certainly, I've already mentioned uh, Rick Nicewander and what he's been able to do to help us with the financial pieces. Uh, Carl Rogers, Dan Nichols, and now Tim Martin for all they're doing in their leadership capacity as president of our Pirate Club Executive Board. And that leads me to our next speaker. This is our current chancellor, Cecil Staten. He has embraced this project even since before he was hired. He called me about it when he was named and said, how can we make sure this project happens? He's provided great leadership to me, especially as we move into this construction phase. So please help me welcome Chancellor Staten. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, Jeff. What a great uh, group. Uh, we're so glad to see you here today to join us for uh, this very important occasion, a historic one in the life of this university. You know, it's hard to believe, but in just a couple of months, it will be two years since I began that process that led me to become your 11th chancellor. Uh, when I looked at ECU during that search process, and certainly I would say to you this afternoon, everything I'm about to say has only uh, become of greater significance to me uh, during the 18 months that I've been your chancellor, I saw a university that it was very clear to me it was on the move. The trajectory was great. It was a university with all the assets to truly become the next great university in our nation. I believe that. It's why I came. It's why I'm here. It's why I get up and uh, work every day, because I truly in my heart believe that tra the trajectory for this great university is unbounded. You know, we have a university that has a nationally recognized medical school. In fact, it's number two in the nation, number one in our state for producing primary care physicians that are much needed across the state of North Carolina. We have a nationally recognized dental school. Its curriculum has now become a model across the United States for preparing dentists, particularly those who would serve in rural and underserved areas. We have the largest school of education in the state of North Carolina, putting more teachers into public schools in our state than any other institution. We have the largest school of nursing, putting more nurses into health care across North Carolina than any other institution in this state. We have the largest school of business in the state of North Carolina that every year graduates students who go out and fan out across this state to become leaders 
and change agents in our economy and communities all over North Carolina and beyond. We have a great College of Arts and Sciences, the largest coll uh, College of Allied Health Sciences. I could go on and on. I hate to even go down that litany every time I speak because I always end up leaving somebody out and I don't mean to do that. But what I do mean to impress upon you today is that ECU has all of the bones, all of the structure, all of the potential to be America's next great national university. But you know, there's one additional thing that great universities have. And we've got that too. We have a great athletics tradition. We have a dedicated group of coaches and staff and faculty who work with our student athletes. And they go out and represent ECU and the Pirate Nation proudly each and every day on the fields and courts of competition. And it's why I believe in this project. First of all, our student athletes deserve facilities that are equal to any other institution in which to prepare and to train and to receive the services that they require of there to be successful student athletes. But Pirate Nation also deserves facilities that are great and are commensurate with a great national university in this country. I am very proud that we are standing here today having made the progress that we have made that will lead to the completion of the Southside Stadium renovation. I stand here today with Jeff and everyone involved in athletics at ECU, uh, our coaches and our student athletes. I stand here today to say to each and every one of you, thank you. Thank you for the gifts and investments you have made. I think of so many who have made investments through the years in the athletic programs of this great university. And today, many of those individuals are present. I thank you for your investment. Yes, it's an investment in infrastructure, and there will be something very clear and beautiful to see as a result of that, of that investment. But what you're really investing in is the future of this great university and you're investing in our student athletes. And for that, I am truly, truly grateful. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon to welcome you to your university, to thank you for your participation in helping ECU become America's next great national university. Thank you, and I look forward to turning the dirt with you in just a few minutes. Jeff mentioned uh, some of the many people who have been involved in this process. It is a pleasure as your chancellor to serve alongside a wonderful group of individuals who serve as our board of trustees. They are truly partners. Uh, their commitment to this university, their love for this university, uh, and all the ways that they serve is very meaningful. And they are led uh, by someone who's come to be uh, a true friend and colleague. And I am grateful for his leadership and his partnership as we uh, move this university forward. The chairman of our board of trustees, Karen Shanahan. Wow, is it a great day to be a pirate or what? Yeah. Exciting, exciting. I bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees and thank all of you for not only being here, but for your contributions, not only to this great effort, but so many efforts that have brought the university to this point. You know, as we gather here today to turn a little dirt, I think it's fitting that we do it in the middle of a construction site in the shadow of Dowdy Ficklin, in the rain, and in the dead of winter. Because you must have the winter to have the spring, or in this case, Coach, the fall. Fall football, baby. It's not going to be that far, but we all know you don't just show up on game day. You've got to prepare, and this university is preparing to be America's next great national university. So many people have worked over the years uh, on the stadium. When I was here, there were two sides facing each other. And then it got expanded out. You know, these were here. Then the ends come in. And then you know, the beautiful uh, other side of the stadium. And this is really just another iteration of that as we continue to grow. When I was here, there were 17,000 students. We're about to crest 30,000 students on our way to 35,000 students. 
And so it's important to remember as we move forward though, that we always stand on the shoulders of those that came before us, that, set, that helped set the great traditions that we carry on. Uh, and I'm very thankful to be uh, for the Board of Trustees who have worked with the university. Jeff, kudos to you. Unbelievable fundraising effort in a short period of time. And of course, the Pirate Club, without which uh, sort of the grease that makes it all go. You know, um, echoing what the Chancellor said about East Carolina and about our Board of Trustees, let me drop one little thought to be thinking about. You know, over the years, sometimes as pirates, we've loved to be competitive. We thought it was great. We, had, we pulled off a few upset victories. Our board of trustees, our Chancellor Staten, our athletic director Comfer, and Coach Mo no longer believe that. What it means to be America's next great national university is that we set our sights on championships. East Carolina University is the best kept secret in this state. We are the best value of any university. We turn out unbelievable students who are ready to enter the work, workplace. And it's known throughout uh, secondary education and college level that the athletics of a school are the front porch. And so we must have excellence in our athletics because they feed off of each other. But never forget what we do is we turn out doctors and dentists and teachers, uh, engineers. We have a great product here, and we will not settle for second best. And I think as we come here, the experience we're going to have uh, when we come to East Carolina for football games is going to be unparalleled. It, it's going to be okay this fall. It's going to be unbelievable a year from now. And I'm glad we're all on this journey together. Let's keep the pirate spirit going, and let's remember we are headed to be America's next great national university. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Tim Barton. I'm president of the Pirate Club, and I'm proud to be your president and thankful that you have voted me in. Um, the Pirate Club Executive Committee is here today to say thank you. And there are a lot of people in the room that I've noticed that have served on the Executive Committee before and are currently serving. And if you would, I'd like for you to stand. Dan, Carl. This, this, This is your Pirate Club leadership. They are wonderful leaders, they're great people to work with, and it has been a lot of fun working with all of you. Um, we'd like to thank all of you for your commitment and dedication to this Southside renovation. Uh, you've been undaunted in your determination to make this project happen. Uh, this renovation would not be happening without each and every one of you pulling together as one Pirate Nation. Again, we express our sincere appreciation for all that you've done, uh, all the many uh, hours that you spent, the work, and obviously your financial commitment. That's nice to have, thank you. Uh, this is indeed a, a major accomplishment that will affect many, many ECU student athletes uh, going forward. As uh, ECU has affected all of us in this room, made our lives better, uh, and we're very fortunate to be a part of the ECU family. Um, with that, uh, I would like for us to always remember to let us commit ourselves to remain united and undaunted. Go Pirates! Now I get the distinct privilege to uh, introduce the next man who needs no introduce, introduction. Uh, Scotty Montgomery was born in Shelby, North Carolina. Uh, earned his bachelor's degree from Duke in 2000. Uh, played wide receiver, I believe that's right, Scotty? At, uh, at Duke and later in the NFL uh, with the uh, Oakland Raiders and the Denver Broncos. Uh, Scotty is married to Ebony and they have three sons. Let's give a warm welcome to our head football coach, Scotty Montgomery. Well, 
it's kind of hard when you go behind so many intelligent people. I think they have uh, got up here and, and, and completely taken every word out of my vocabulary that I was going to use for this speech. Um, so withstanding the verbosity of the people that came before me, I am going to try to say everything as quickly as I can, but I want to first start by saying thank you. I don't know where I could start besides saying thank you. The next thing that I would say is that the life of a student athlete uh, can be described in very uh, several different terms, especially for the people that have not been student athletes. Um, some of those terms can be privileged. Some of those terms will be, uh, you know, some people may think overlooked. Um, some other people may think hardworking. You know, the, the terms that come to mind uh, for myself and others that are in the room that are student athletes are probably will be sacrifice, but also be commitment and hard work. I don't like to necessarily put all those terms and adjectives on our student athletes. What I like to say to them is that what they are doing is they are investing. Uh, the hard work, the commitment, uh, the discipline that comes with being a student athlete is, is harder than anything else that I think a young person can do. But as I use those words as, in describing our student athletes, I also think that you can use those same words for the people that are responsible for giving us uh, the ability to prepare. And I mean the Pirate Club. So I like to just step back from the mic just for a second and, and say thank you to the Pirate Club for your investment. Thank you so much. Now, now, in the words of my head football coach in high school, which is one of the most revered per people in my life and, and, and a person that I have a tremendous amount of respect for, is that he used to use this, this phrase all the time when he came into the weight room. He used to say, proper preparation prevents poor performance. What the Pirate Club and, and Pirate Nation has given us the ability to do is prepare. Uh, our coaches have heard me say, over the last two to three weeks is that we've probably used the term, I've used the term, I've probably been guilty of it more than anybody else, of using the terms of winning and losing too much, where the thought should be more placed on preparation. Well, that's exactly what the Southside Renovation Project and the Project Towards Sports Medicine Building give us a chance to do. Gives us the ability to train our student athletes at the highest possible level in the conference and in the country. Not only do we get the chance to give our guys a go in with Coach C and, and work exceptionally hard, but there's a tremendous amount of self-worth that's connected to a place when you walk into it. Anybody in here that has lived in a small house or a small trailer and had the ability to move into uh, a home, a uh, three-bedroom home or a one-bedroom home with lights and water and all the functions that everyone else has, there's a tremendous amount of self-worth that happens the moment that you step into a new place. And we couldn't have done that with the people that are here today and the people that have came before us. We are very, very happy and proud to be call ourselves pirates, first of all, but we're more happy that we're a part of a community that cares more about the university and the school than anything else. I can tell you moving forward, as I look at you know, tractors and steel being broken down, it is a part of the process. To be able to have a wonderful building and a wonderful opportunity to prepare the way construction. We've had two years of construction in football. Uh, I don't run away from that. I appreciate everybody here to, that's here today because I know that you have supported us through the thick and the thin in situations where we would have liked to win 11 and 12 games and we did not win the games that we would have liked to win. That's where we are. We're in construction. But come this fall, just like what we're seeing now, the finished product is starting to take place. And I appreciate everyone that's here today. I appreciate all uh, from our Chancellor Staten to our Athletic Director Jeff Comfer, uh, to our Pirate Club, to the people that are here, Pirate Nation. We thank you for everything that you're doing for our student athletes. And some of our players came up to me uh, a couple of days after being back in town. And what they said was, we knew that it was going to happen. And it's finally happening, Coach. And we can't wait to give Pirate Nation everything that we have. Thank you guys for everything. We appreciate your support. Go Pirates. Let's give all these great pirates a big round of applause before we go and start turning dirt on this great Southside Stadium renovation project. 
My name is Philip Wood, Executive Director of your Pirate Club, and behalf on, on behalf of our Pirate Club staff, I want to say thank you to everyone being here today for such a special occasion, and more importantly, thank you for all that you do for our great university, our athletics department, our Pirate Club, and most importantly, our deserving student athletes. I would like to conclude today's ceremony by recognizing two very important groups that have been involved in the planning, design, and construction phases of this project. The first group I want to recognize is our team of tremendous campus leaders. The first group is out of our facilities engineering services. I'm going to call them all by name. If you would, hold your applause till the end. Bill Bagnell, John Field, Robert Brown, Gina Shoemaker, and finally from our athletics department, Senior Associate Athletic Director J.J. McClam. Let's give these folks a big round of applause. <laughs> finally, I'd like to say thank you to all of our partners that have had a hand in creating what's going to be one of the finest facilities anywhere in the country. Their partnership throughout all phases is something that we will always appreciate. Here with us today, we have three executives from TA Loving. We have Sam Hunter, Mike Richter, and David Filial. And with from Frank L. Bloom, we have Mike Lancaster and Chris White. Let's give them a big round of applause. Also just want to introduce and recognize our other partners in this project. We have LS3P, ACOM, Cole Genset, and Stone, Stewart, en Stewart Engineers, excuse me, Affiliated Engineers, Henderson Engineers, and representing Equipment Plus, our Pirate Club Executive Committee member, Robbie Taylor. Let's give all of them a big round of applause. So now for the fun part and the moment we've all been waiting for, it's my pleasure and honor to invite to uh, the big pile of dirt here to my left, <laughs> Chancellor Staten, Athletic Director Jeff Kompfer, Vice Chancellor Rick Nyswander, Chair of our ECU Board of Trustees, Kieran Shanahan, all of our members of our East Carolina Board of Trustees, Tim Martin, President of the Pirate Club Executive Committee, all officers of the Pirate Club Executive Committee, Committee, and finally head football coach Scotty Montgomery. To the front, excuse me, after the groundbreaking, I would like to invite everyone to Harvey Hall inside the Murphy Center for a reception. And then at nine o'clock tonight, I want to invite you to Williams Arena at Menji's Coliseum to watch our Pirates defeat number five Wichita State. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. 